morning everyone um, I'm starting out this vlog with me going to the doctors and getting a blood test because that's my life <laughs> when you're pregnant you get so many blood tests but yeah today's um, Wednesday the 16th I think it is I can't remember it's so early in the morning um, but it's Nettie's last day here before he goes back to work and I just thought I'd vlog like this week um, show you guys what I'm doing in isolation um, I hope everyone else is staying safe out there but yeah don't forget to subscribe as well um, while you're here that will really support me just because like I'm not really I'm not working so I am making this my like kind of you know thing to do um, but yeah and it'll really help my channel as well and give it a big thumbs up for me but yeah I'm just like I said like I'm going out to get my blood tests then I'm coming home and then um, I've been really like obsessing over um, acai bowls so I've got this stuff I found yesterday um, from Woolies when I went and did my essential shopping <laughs> um, and um, I really want to try it and make my own acai bowl because it is like it's $12 acai bowl like and I've been really like wanting to eat them so hopefully this will make it a lot cheaper um, but yeah I'll show you guys see how I go with making that um, and yeah I'm just going to show you guys what I do at home how I'm keeping myself busy I really want to make some gnocchi this week some homemade gnocchi so if I do that I'll show you guys that um, but yeah okay so this is the acai bowl mix it just says like I need to add um, banana, berries, and juice, um, and non-dairy milk. Well, I don't know if I have berries, but I have banana, so I'll see how I go. So that is what my mixture looks like when it's blended. I just added banana and strawberry, but I'm going to mix berries next time, but I'm just going to decorate it now. So that is my acai bowl. Um, I just got some granola, strawberries, and banana. I would add some yogurt, but I don't. I'll probably add some tomorrow. But so, I'm sorry for all my hair being all parted, but I am gonna cook some. Well, actually, I'm gonna attempt to make some gnocchi. So I've never made homemade gnocchi. Sorry, when say something homemade gnocchi before. So what I got at the moment is I've got my potatoes boiling. And then I think you just add like self raising flour, salt, and eggs. So, yeah, I'm gonna have some fun doing that. I'm Italian, I should know how to do it. So, okay, now that I've cooked my potatoes, I'm just gonna put them in my potato ricer that I picked up from Spotlight. And I'm just going to rice the potatoes.
Good morning everyone. Um, today is Thursday and I'm about to go for a walk with my dad and the puppies get them out of the house they need to go for a walk. Uh, so yeah I got a few things to do today. I've got to go post a few of my Depop stuff, pick up a few essentials. Um, I really want to like bake like cupcakes or something just keep me occupied. Um, I got a bit of content creating today. Wouldn't mind editing and yeah, stay at home stuff. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Zet bike pants, um, just a crop top from pre, um, Princess Polly, my Zet crop and just a jacket just in case I get cold and my Adidas with Nike socks because that's how I go. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'll also get to eat the gnocchi tonight. I didn't get to eat it last night just because I had something else, but yeah, I think my dad's here now, so we're gonna go for a walk. Just got back from our walk. Um, it was like a 6k walk. We got a coffee, and yeah, it's so funny. My poor baby girl, Kimi, she died. She had to get picked up <laughs> on the way back. Um, but she's a little unfit, so we, I need to take her for more walks. But I just made myself, like it is 11.15, and I just made myself some like, because I have not had breakfast and I'm really hungry. And I'm just going to chill out for a bit and then go post this stuff and go and grab my list of things. I only need a few things. I just need peanut butter, frozen berries, um self-raising flour and raw sugar <laughs> you should see what I got it on I've got it literally written here like what are you grateful for my groceries yeah okay I'm gonna sit down and chill out for a bit okay I just got back from the grocery store I just picked up a few things um, I'm gonna make some rice paper rolls um, so that's the rice paper rolls I just got some more butter I got some fruit so I got some watermelon and some Pineapple, more eggs. Um, I got, this is like my naughties. Um, I really been loving like these drinks. I got that to make scones, so yeah. And I just got some juice for in the morning. Um, I'm gonna make some cupcakes. I just got some milk. And I just got icing sugar because I don't actually have icing sugar. I actually went to get self-raising flour and cas uh, raw sugar and they had none in stock so I'm gonna have to go again um, I just got some like little fried noodles to put maybe I don't know if I do a salad because I got some spinach um, I got a capsicum I got um, some carrots um, I got some tom little tomatoes my naughties frozen berries for my acai bowl ran out of peanut butter um, if anyone has been watching Chloe Zepinoski, I had to get one of these because she's having pregnancy cravings and then it made me want one, so, yep. And then I also got some dates. Um, I don't actually like dates, but I'm going to have a go because I had them in my acai bowl, like, cut up, and they were really yummy, so that's my little grocery haul. So, I just cooked my gnocchi. I'm going to taste one. Um, and see how it tastes. Um, I wish I had a better sauce, but oh my god, they taste so good for my first go. I'm impressed. Italian's coming out of me. So I made myself another acai bowl. This time I added yogurt and some dates. So excited to eat this, it looks so good. Also, I went for my walk. Yep. So for dinner, I was gonna make some rice paper rolls. So I just got like my capsicum and um, carrot, rice paper rolls, the noodles, the spinach and my beef, which I'm gonna roll up now. Hopefully I don't mess this up.
Hey everyone, um, today is Sunday, um, so I went for like, it's like 1.30, um, I went for a walk this morning with Renee again and we went to camp. Um, I, I know it's not essential, but I need to go out and get some stuff for my brows because they need a wax and a tint. And Renee was saying to get like this beard, like dye, cause it's really good. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And I just need to get out of the house, or well, not out of the house, but I need to get out cause my baby, little shop there. Baby is really sitting somewhere right up against something because it is hurting. And I just need to like stretch it out. So I just need to walk. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly go to the shops. Um, I think I might grab some stuff from Woolies. Um, Cause I'm not sure what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know you're not meant really to go out, but I just, my brow, I've been like living with my brow, they're just, no, can't, I can't live with them anymore. They're just overgrown. And I might go see my mum and dad because you can go see your parents. So I might go see mum and dad because it is dad's last day before he goes back to work. So I'm going to do that. I'm not taking you guys with me to get the stuff, but um, just because I want to get in and out of there. Like, you know, I don't want to dawdle. Um, but uh, I will show you guys if I wax and if I can get the stuff, wax and tint my eyebrows. But yeah, thought I'd show you that yeah oh my god it just started pouring down and there's like hail oh <laughs> just hit there my poor babies i just let them in so they didn't have to get into the hail oh my goodness oh my goodness she's starting to hail now there's some hail on the ground Hey, big girl. I really hope it doesn't smash one of my windows. All the hails outside. Some down here. It's crazy. I've never had hail here before. So. Okay, so this is what I got from for my eyebrows. I just got like a little like, it's just a concealer like elf brush but I'm gonna see if I can like dip the dye and paint my eyebrows with that I got this wax um, just for men dye so I was recommended by Renee to get this um, I got the medium brown I also picked up a lippy stick um, the super stay ink crayon in trust yourself chocolate and I also managed to get some self-raising flour because we're all sold out at um, my shopping center so that's what I got so I'm gonna have a go at waxing my eyebrows and tinting them so sorry for the most awkwardest angle but I'm gonna like wax my eyebrows now um, I just got the wax and heated it up so here I go Oh, this is gonna freaking hurt. Oh. oh, she got some hair. So I just added like a little tiny bit of this stuff um, and I'm just painting it 
over my brows, but I feel like it's going to be very, very light. Okay, so this is what the brows look like now that I have them um, dyed. They came out nice. They look a lot thicker and fuller now. Like, I think they look pretty good. Um, they are like dark, but I like them a little bit dark just so that um, the tint stays a little longer. And like when I put foundation and stuff on, they end up going lighter anyway. But I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Yas. Okay, I just got back from the shops. Um, some of you wanted to see like my grocery haul, but like, I don't know, I only go to the groceries if I need something. But because Nan and I had our anniversary, actually I'll put these over so you can see me. We had, it was our four year anniversary yesterday and Ned's actually, um, what is it, in at work, he comes home tonight. So tomorrow we're actually gonna go and have a picnic somewhere secluded away from people um, and just have like an afternoon picnic, just us two. He's gonna have some beers. I'm gonna have some non-alcoholic wine. This is the Eden Vale one. I actually really like this one. I got it in my goodness box. I got the rose one. So that's just the sparkling one. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, and it, I'm a wine drinker and it's just getting me through this pregnancy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I got f for the thing. I had a few things already like dips and stuff I've got already and just a few bits and pieces, but I want to make like curried egg sandwiches for me. Um, and they will have like ham cheese tomato sandwiches. Um, and then I just got like um, some salami for him, some twiggy sticks. Um, for me, I got some grapes, some non soft cheeses, so like more of a harder cheese, so not like your brie and camembert, which I can't really have. I got like just your normal block cheese and like some vintage cheese and smoke. I'll show you guys anyway. And crackers and stuff. And then I just picked up some other things that I saw, so I'll show you guys. So I just picked up some white bread. I'm a white, I eat any kind of bread, but I just wanted white bread. Um, I picked up this basil and pesto cashew dip. What I was gonna do was, because I made gnocchi, I was gonna add some cream to it and make like a, like a pesto-y sauce for like a dinner or whatever. Um, I got some pumpkin, cause I wanna roast some pumpkin. Um, this is the cheese that I got. Um, it's the smoked cheese. I really like this one. And then I got this other one, the vintage cheddar. And then I just ran out of my block, normal block cheese. I got some curry powder, pay, curry powder. Um, I ran out of more Parmesan. God, I love cheese. You can tell. Um, I saw Emily Farmer talk about these. They're like microwavable pork crackling. So, and she has them as a snack. So I'm going to try that out. Um, I got the Eden wine, um, Fruit Loops because that is my pregnancy craving right now, um, and Macca's for lunch because I'm a fat bitch. Um, Mubble chocolate, yay, I found it. I'm so excited. I loved this chocolate when I was a kid, so I picked up some marble chocolate. Um, yeah, I just got like some salami, um, ham, and some Twiggy sticks for Ned. Strawberries, grapes, um, I made, um, what is it, jello um, as like a, like a dessert kind of thing. So I just wanted some custard. Uh, these are the, um, I got the Carmen super, uh, super Seed Grain Crackers, um, some more crackers and stuff. And then I got some mayonnaise as well. So yeah, that's like my little grocery haul. Okay, I'm looking a little bit more glamour now than I was before, but I'm just gonna show you guys, because um, some people ask, 
about how I do my content and what I've been doing at home. So with my content, um, what I do is I have this like tripod-y thing. It's just a little one I got from Big W. It, it's not the best, I will tell you that, but it is handy because it's like very lightweight. The only thing that annoys me is this thing like fucking keeps spinning around, but I think you can tighten it, but anyway. Um, and what I do is I set my phone up on it and then I have this thing, best thing in the world. Um, it's called, I got it from eBay and it's just like a little clicker for your phone. Best thing ever. And then I find places around the house like just like a white wall with like some cute decor stuff anywhere that has the best lighting. My, um, what is it? Bathroom has the best lighting at the moment. So yeah, other than that, like literally that's all I do. Um, and then I have my film, I have my filming room, which I've shown you guys a hundred times and it's like messy at the moment, but like I film in here. Um, but on that, like, that's how I've been doing content shots. And like, when I do go out um, to get photos, I usually get someone to take them for me. Um, I usually get like, I'll do like a content day um, and get either like my mom or someone to take photos. I was using the tripod, but it was just so hard. And like the photos that I wanted to get were really hard. So I would just, um, yeah, my mum would do like a heap of photos, different photos, of like fashion and stuff. And that's probably my, that's about it really. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll do a bump shot. I'll do like a bump update for you. And then I'm going to end the vlog just because it's been like a week and I haven't really done much. But I will show you guys my bump. I'll just set you down here. Unbutton me pants. <laughs> So yes, um, anyways, I am 22 weeks this week as of tomorrow, Thursday the 24th I think, or 23rd, but yeah, this is my bump, nothing like too crazy, I don't even look pregnant, <laughs> but yeah, literally like. My mum didn't have a bump, like she showed me one of her pictures and um, she looked like she didn't even, she was about to pop, about to have my brother and she looked like pff, a normal person would be at like 21 weeks, but which I'm kind of grateful for, but it's kind of sad, like I wanted like to pop, <laughs> but hey. I'm grateful that I'm having a baby and it's healthy so far, so that's good. Um, but yeah, that's, other than that, I think that's about it. I'm going to end this vlog here for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed me just doing random stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll start a new vlog tomorrow and yeah. See you guys. Bye.